All right, what's up again? It's that dude, maybe someday. I just got my stimulus check. Glad that my real dad, Trump's looking out for me. I figured I would buy something and spend some money on this car. And what I did was bought some ceramic coating. You can go online. This is a Avalon King Armor Shield X. It's like 60 something dollars, almost $70 without a coupon code. But you can go on someone like Watch JR Go's YouTube channel, find his video. He's got two videos on this product. You can use his code, get like $25 off or 25% off. I don't even know, but you will save money. So let me open this. This is gonna be a non-partisan or whatever, you know, like just testing out the thing I bought it myself. I'm gonna put it on myself. This is what it comes with. Looks pretty nice. The packaging and everything's pretty nice. Comes with this applicator sponge, the friggin' bottle. Bottle is metal. These are the applicator pads. This is the the friggin' the buffer thingamajang. Right, so here are the instructions. How to apply. Okay, wash, clay bar, polish, something or another. So it wants you to wash and clay bar and basically detail your car before you do this. But so I just made a video like two weeks ago on detailing this car and I do park it outside, but it is still fairly detailed. So we're gonna go with that. But so online it says use some degreaser soap, like just dish soap. Use a little bit of that. Wrap block with thingamajang. Shake bottle, then apply several drops, saturate the cloth, wipe a thin layer across the surface, first horizontally, then vertically, continue spread circular. Let the coast to five minutes, there's your buff, microfiber towel. One body part all at a time. Okay, so, seems fairly easy. I'm not gonna do like my last video. This is how you wash a car, because I think all you guys know how to use your brains out there. Well, I almost lost my sombrero. Car is dirty, I'm gonna wash it real quick. Let's see how this goes. All right, so the car is washed. I'm not sure if this is a bad sign that the water is beating. I mean, it's not beating too much, so I think I took most of the wax off. I mean, I did like go over each area, basically twice so there shouldn't be any extra wax or anything on the car i'm gonna dry the car now okay so the car is clean i read in the instructions the ceramic coating this stuff the armor shield x that you're supposed to do it in the shade and not in the wind and it is a sunny and windy day so i've pulled the boat in the garage i think i'm gonna start with the hood paint as clean as it's gonna get all this stuff won't come out i probably just made the paint imperfect by touching it got my gloves here i'm gonna put these things on very nice atoners my new ones how to put on gloves tutorial 2020 Oh man, getting started on this is so stressful. I almost just want to take these gloves off also just because they're like harder to use. This is the applicator pad wrapped around the sponge. I'm going to put a couple drops on it. 10 on there. Or 12. Or... It's got a little cap thingamajang. I don't know what's going on with that. You just rip it off. It totally smells like some rank ass chemicals. I think it could totally just rig you up. But so here we go. Oh man, so I actually wasn't supposed to do that. I guess it just opens like that. I guess I'm an idiot. You see that? It opens like that. You're not supposed to just rip the whole thing off. All right. Can't go back now. I got the thing here. Let's see how we do. One drop, two drop, three drop, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got like twelve on there. So let's do cross pattern thing with Jane. So I've gone back and forth now. I'm gonna go the other way. Man, this stuff honestly smells real different. Once the, the applicator cloth is wet, you really only need to put on like another drop or three to get it back, being able to do the thing. I've heard online that this is hard to keep up with the uh the drying but so i'm gonna do this panel real quick first that looks so nice i don't know if you guys can see that but like this stuff comes up super nice i'm just doing some light wipes on this man that is smooth i know you guys can't feel that and i don't even know if you can see it man that looks like glass on camera though swap my hood with the glass hood man there's some scratches in this thing that i can't see already and i know there's some big ones on here all right so i'm gonna go on to the the roof and the trunk and do those real quick not on video all right so this is the final product i have the car pulled out in the sun now 
I have my manager out here. He's giving it the final opinion. I mean, he likes it, you can tell. But like, check out this trunk. For the most part, this trunk was destroyed. There was that huge scratch right here. You can watch my old Meguiar's detailing video and see. Holy crap, you can see me in the paint. Yeah, this is way better than a Meguiar's product. The ceramic coating, it's just on another level of whack. I mean, you feel it, it just feels like, I don't know how to describe it. it feels like, it feels like a self clay barring surface, if you know what I mean. There is a huge scratch in this hood. You can't even see it. This hood is so reflective at this point. Cars at night's lights would just reflect off this. This front piece right here, this looked terrible. It still looks terrible, but man, when I went over like these areas right here, it looked so much better. Where's another scratch that I can point out? There, there was a huge, 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 huge scratch right here. You can't even tell where it is. Here, I'll point it out to you. You see that? Now I am inches away from this paint to see that scratch. I'm two feet away. Arms touching the paint, two feet away. You can't see the scratch. This stuff is just incredible. On the website, it says this stuff uh, treats one small car. You can see here. I don't know if you can see here. Let's go out into the sun. Can you see that? There's still probably a third of the bottle left or more. I could almost do another small car with this. As long as you're just careful, this stuff is easy to do. I was concerned that I wouldn't have enough time to let it dry or enough product to put on. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I honestly feel terrible doing this, but everyone on YouTube's gonna ask, what does it look like with water on it? Well, I don't know if I've let it have enough time to dry or cure or whatever, but I figure done drying or curing at this point. Let's see what happens. I'd say I'm fairly impressed with that. Well, there you go. Would I recommend this to someone else? Definitely.